In this video, I'll show you how you can boost your CPU performance in FL Studio. After you have completed all the steps, you will experience a lot less lag and project crashes. So, make sure you watch the video to the end to get the most out of it. Let's start by going to Options, Audio Settings and change the device to one of your ACO devices. Make sure you select your audio interface if you have one. One of the most important things is the buffer length. A high buffer length will improve your CPU performance, but this can cause problems if you are playing on a MIDI keyboard. You can also set the priority to highest and select multi-threaded generator and mixer processing. It's important to also select Smart Disable for all plugins for a smoother project. Another thing you can do to improve your CPU performance is to remove unused samples. You can do this by going to Tools, Macros, select Unused Audio Clips. This will just remove all the samples you didn't use in your project. You can also go to Tools, Macros and select the unused channels and delete them. This will remove plugins you didn't use. Another thing you can do is by exporting the CPU heavy plugins to a WAV file. You can see what plugins that use the most CPU by going to View and Plugin Performance Monitor. We can see that this plugin uses a lot of CPU. We want to export it as a WAV file. We can do this by consolidating it. The shortcut for this is Ctrl Alt C. Another shortcut you can use is F12. This will just close all the plugins and make your project run smoother. We can also export our whole project by going to File, Export and by selecting Split Mixer Tracks. This was all for this tutorial. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so you won't miss my future uploads.